Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I want to have a look at Arbitrum. Now, it's been a while since we've looked at Arbitrum, and that's sort of for a reason. Again, it's one of these alts that we have very little price action on. It started in April of last year, 2023, so very little that we can use the charts for in analyzing Arbitrum, but I have tried my best, and you can see there's obviously a lot of lines here, and I'll get into what they mean and what they show soon. The video that I made back in sort of mid-October time was received very well, and for that I'm very grateful. And what I said in it more or less played out in a way. And if you go back and watch it, you'll see that I say Arbitrum rallies up. It was during around this time, I think we would, this rally had basically just finished, we'd had this pullback. And I said we could see Arbitrum continue to trade downwards for a while, sort of follow this slow downward trend the one that we've been in for basically Arbitrum's whole launch, this is what I was saying at the time, or we could see a, a rally, a potential rally, a move up. And if you've been watching the channel and following the channel for a while, you'll know that I've been pricing in Q4 of 2023 or Q1 of 2024 to be a sort of turnaround point for the crypto space. That's when I think crypto is going to start to do well. Um, and it's not going to be a bull run in my opinion, but I think that's when we're going to see just general positive price action throughout the crypto space consistently, consistently. And that doesn't mean that, you know, it's only going to be up from this point on. But I do think most cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, big altcoins are going to close the year of 2024 at a higher price than when they went into the year. Now, I'm not saying we can't have huge corrections and lose 50% of our value. I'm not saying that we're only going to go up 2x. I have no way of really knowing, but I do think we will close the year at a higher price than when we entered it for the majority. Having said that, we've had our first week of 2024 and we can see it's been a pretty good one we've had our sort of new year rally and we've only just taken a pullback now but it has been sort of the biggest correction arbitrum has seen since again mid-december where we had these sort of strong corrections and again if you follow these white lines which i will get into we can see that arbitrum has almost mirrored itself in the way that it's moved taking a look at when arbitrum actually launched we can see we put in this sort of this first pump and dump this triangle this descending you can see we're following this descending uh, price range. It descends down, big triangle, small triangle, big triangle. And in the Arbitrum video, I also said we could expect a small triangle on the way down because we'd had this sort of pattern, but there was no way of really knowing that would happen. It did play out, but what was funny was that Arbitrum, well, it wasn't funny. What was interesting was that Arbitrum didn't, it came back to this low and didn't break below. Whereas before we've always broken down below the low and put in our third corner was the lowest. So first corner, second corner, third corner, first corner, second corner, third corner. We've always gone down on the third corner. Here, Arbitrum held. Um, and again, my video came out before this this hold, but more or less once it hold and found a bit of bounce, it would be pretty safe to say, and I know hindsight is a brilliant thing, but it would be pretty comfortable to say that once it holds this low and moves up, especially the way it did with the whole of the other alt like crypto space, again, holding in a similar way, we could expect very good price action. And I made videos around this time saying, well, I, I do expect us to come back to these levels, but we, we, we could definitely see a rejection at this point too. We might just operate within a range. And this was talking about other cryptos that played out very similarly. And of course I was wrong, but this was just because, and of course I was wrong, but this was just because I was not anticipating, but being aware of the fact that we could have a later move to the upside than what we usually get. Again, the sort of pre bull run year, the halving year, prices usually do well, but that can happen as late as March when things start to really do well. Sometimes they just trade sideways for a long time. And it kind of depends when the halving is, I think, and the narrative leading up to it. And Arbitrum's been, been doing well, and so is the rest of the crypto market. So uh, maybe it was foolish of me to expect a slow off here. Um, we blew right past this previous resistance and sort of came close to our other guys here that Arbitrum has been at quite a bit or has visited quite a few times, broken above and below it a few times. Uh, we can see it's mainly acted as a resistance. We can see it didn't quite get there this time, but when it tried again, coming from this previous support level, which again acted as a resistance here, our turnaround resistance, if you will, um, acted as a support, and then we bounced off that. And then we went into a ascending triangle pattern, or a higher third corner, if you will, where again we go up, first corner, second corner, end on a higher third corner than we did our first corner. Again, first, second, third. And we've kind of seen a very explosive move, you know, basically for almost a month now, since mid-December, late December, all the way to today, the 7th of January, 2024. And we haven't really had a move like this on Arbitrum's price chart, which makes it difficult to graph, but we can see if we sort of put our mirror here, we can say that we've had a move up, a strong move up, a strong move up in this direction, a strong move down as time goes. Uh, and then from this move, we have a down, we have a down, Come back to a similar level a similar level a price move down but slightly higher again slightly higher but still down slightly higher but still down and then a, a strong move up and here we you know 
looking at time in reverse, we saw a strong move up, but nothing compared to what we've had here. But interestingly enough, what happened here, we saw a lot of our value get retraced very quickly at the same time. And of course, this played out obviously in reverse. The way I'm looking at it, it we had a huge rally up and then we have had a big sell-off, but that's exactly what we're having here. We've had a huge rally up, and even just these last few days, we've suddenly seen quite a strong pullback and we've retraced you know, what we've done over a few days, but now we've come halfway back up. Again, the market could go anywhere. It's very difficult to say. Usually a few months before the halving, we do see poor price action. And then afterwards we see good price action. It doesn't always have to play out like this. We've seen in previous, we've seen in previous Bitcoin halvings that um, as altcoins and Bitcoin approach the halving, they lose a lot of value quickly. And then a few months after the halving, they start gaining that value back, um, picking up really well with Bitcoin ultimately taking over on the Bitcoin altcoin pairs. Another thing to point out with Arbitrum is that we have put in an all time high here. As you can see, sort of our all time high was marked by this sort of a line and we broke clearly above it. Again, we've been rejected quite harshly recently and we've come down quite a long way and we're close to sort of where our previous all time high was. But I do think if you're gonna sort of short term trade Arbitrum, you could expect a bit of poor price movement. If we check for how long it went down for after this, during a similar move, it went down for three weeks, bang on. So if we go three weeks out from our peak, if we take this as our peak, and we go three weeks, 21 days, we can see that puts us sort of end of January time, which we do often see a lot of coins, again, a couple of months before the halving, bleed a bit, especially on their Bitcoin pair coming up to the halving. Doesn't always have to play out the same, but I thought it wouldn't play out quite the same back here. And I was wrong. It played out more or less the same where as the halving year came around and leading up to the halving year, the Q4, we just had an extreme rally for the crypto space. So maybe it might play out the same way here. It's kind of impossible to say. It's kind of up to you to draw what you want from this video and make your own educated decisions. If I had to put a price range on where I think Arbitrum is going to head for 2024, I would, I would expect a price somewhere around $2.50, probably. But it could go well above that. And for reference, Arbitrum is currently at $1.86, um, which would be a 33 move to the upside. And again, I'm not saying that will be the high for Arbitrum over the year, but that's where I expect the price to close out. Because if you're going to be realistic about where you think the price will go, if Arbitrum does a 15x in the bull market run and entering the bull market run, it's at $2.50. You're looking at an Arbitrum that's, you know, you're looking at an Arbitrum that's around 125 dollars if that's you know from low to high entering the halving entering the bull run year sorry at two dollars fifty and it doing a 10 eggs you know brings you to 25 after 10 eggs another 5x after that 125 which is quite a huge way for an altcoin to go now i know we've we've seen altcoins do crazy stuff in bull market years um but again i think the 2021 bull run was sort of the perfect time for risk assets to go crazy because so much money printing was happening. So many people also got onto the scene. There was so much money going into the space, whereas before it's a risk asset, so prices move more volatile. There's still not many people in the space. 2021, a huge amount of people entered crypto. So prices went up parabolically. I don't think we're gonna see that same renewed interest from a huge broad audience like we did in 2021. So I don't think these sort of crazy 50Xs that we got last bull run from some altcoins and uh, you know 100x's and 200x's. I am personally not following a strategy that anticipates that. I have levels that I think are good prices to sell at. And whether crypto goes 100x above that or 2x above that, I'm selling at prices that I'm comfortable selling at because I'm making money. Maybe I miss out, maybe I don't. All I know if my plan works out and if I follow my strategy, I will be happy with the money that I get. And ultimately, end of the day, that's what you should be with crypto. You know, you should be happy with the money that you get out of it. And maybe you shouldn't focus too much on chasing these crazy gains, but that's not for me to say. Taking a look at Arbitrum on its Bitcoin pair, we can see kind of a similar story in how it looks with the USD. We've just followed this downward trend all the way until sort of December, funnily enough, it took much longer for Arbitrum to catch up on its Bitcoin pair than it did its US dollar pair. We can still see, however, that Sort of September was when we put in our lows. Arbitrum did put in a low here on its Bitcoin pair, an all time low at the time. And we had a rally like we saw on the US dollar pair, but we did also come back down and we put in a much lower low here, 
which is where it differs from its US dollar pair, and we even went even lower after that. So it's only very recently, basically, I mean, basically a month today, that Arbitrum has been rallying on its Bitcoin pair, which is a good sign. Like you do want to see altcoins rally a bit before the halving, that as expected, this is sort of the time where Bitcoin slows down a bit and maybe loses a bit of the momentum that it's had for a while. Um, but me personally, I don't expect this to happen for a long time. Um, it is quite a sharp move up and we can see literally over days we've had crazy moves. Uh, for example, 22% on the Bitcoin pair on the 21st of December. Um, and for me, in the pre-halving year, which is when it took place, um, this is just something that cannot be sustained in a bull run over a few months. Yeah, I can expect it to. It's kind of what you expect from cryptocurrencies, especially lower caps like Arbitrum, uh, especially on their Bitcoin pairs where, uh, you know, altcoins do historically outperform Bitcoin during the bull run. Altcoins are where money is made during the bull run. I, I, I don't see it going crazy. And if we zoom in here, we can see last couple of days, last three days, we've had a serious sort of pullback. Not serious, but it's definitely come down a good deal since the start for the first time since the start of this initial rally. And it could be a sign. It kind of depends what it does here, to be honest with you. A little line here would be useful, I'd say. Um, if she bounces off this, you can expect another good rally. If she breaks below, I, I would expect a serious sort of sell off, to be honest with you. I would expect to come down to this level around about here. And and if she doesn't, she I'd say she'll go up well up. I say she'll sort of touch this before she sees any sort of pullback again. But again, neither of those might play out. It might just go sideways. But I do think it's really interesting to look at the Bitcoin pairs when looking at altcoins because it shows you how well they're doing compared to the leading force in the crypto space, which is Bitcoin. And currently Arbitrum is leading. Now it's not close to its all. Well, it is close to its all time high. It's back to sort of its launch price of where it was on its Bitcoin pair, which is interesting. Or it was, it's now come down to sort of these resistance levels, which is funny, you can see it's operating within the same range that we saw over this level over here. And if we pull up a little sort of, you know, range, we can see it moved 15% up and down from here, we might see a similar thing play out where it trades sideways. And we might see again, looking at time in reverse, we have this big rally up that we see here, a big rally up, and then we move sideways, but then we ultimately keep following the trend. And here it was a downward trend, but here we're an upward trend. So again, trend is your friend, but I have no clue what's going to happen. Hopefully you find this useful and you can gleam something from this that might help you financially. But um, for me, I don't like to trade these sort of things because they're too risky. Uh, I am hodling, of course. I've bought a lot of my crypto that I want. I will sort of be talking about over this year times to maybe move your Bitcoin into altcoins. I don't think it's that time yet. But if you're like me and you hold a lot of Bitcoin, it might be interesting for you to maybe hear that. If you're an altcoin guy and you've just got a load of altcoin bags, it probably won't be too useful to you. But I would still recommend watching these videos because it'll give you an understanding of what maybe a lot of other people might do. And I think a lot of big players will be Bitcoin heavy currently. Even with these altcoin rallies, I think they they will probably stay with Bitcoin because, again, it's the safe bet in the crypto space. I know safe is, you know, a very funny word to use, but... I think that's where most people will, will stay, at least for most of this year. And then come 2025, when we've seen previous bull runs have altcoins that go 50x, 100x, I think a lot of people will move their Bitcoin into altcoins. But people know that generally Bitcoin does well over the halving year. Historically, it has done. I think it's closed every halving year at a higher price than it entered originally. And with Bitcoin being the longest existing altcoin, we have the most data on it, and it's also the most defined in its ways most people are happy to sort of take that chance and think bitcoin will play out in a similar way but again that's for you to decide not for me to tell you if you like this video guys please give it a like and consider subscribing it really helps out the channel we're close to 1000 subscribers which is amazing and i'm thinking over the next few days i'm going to make a video sort of talking about ideas and maybe a place where i might want to bring the channel but i'll ultimately leave it up to you and Hope that you get involved in the comments and say what you like and dislike. Um, I'll save the details for that video. So until then, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great new year and you've enjoyed your first week of it. Take care and peace.